Okay, so here we are at part two of the JC Mastering Box tutorial. Uh, we've already made this uh, frequency band um, kind of box, I guess, where we can adjust the high boost, the low boost, uh, which frequencies are being allowed on uh, each one of these three channels, and we've added some stereo imaging to the high end and the mid range. Uh, the next thing we want to do is add some compression to the box just to kind of give it that uh, overall mastering type capability. So what we're going to do is click on the audio effects rack and hit group. And now that that's grouped, we're going to open up the chain and this is all in one chain which is great. And then we can add effects to everything that's being done inside of this uh, effects rack. But first thing we need to do is um, add these to uh, these macro knobs. So I'm going to take the low, mid, and add it to uh, 5, add this to 6, add this to 3, add this to 4, add this to 7, add this to 8. Okay, and then I'm going to put this at 200. And put this at 2000. And these are just arbitrary values right now. Uh, it depends on what you're doing, uh, what kind of track you're mastering, obviously. Uh, and this is at 64, and that's where there is nothing being affected to the stereo width. Um, so now that that's set up, let's go ahead and add um, one. I'm going to add my kind of go-to stock preset here from Ableton 8. And this is downloadable from the blog and also I have a tutorial kind of about the mid side, but um, I put this on my mastering channel all the time, so I'm just going to put it here and make sure it's outside of this other audio effects rack, okay? So you want to be outside of that. And this just kind of dips off the side um, audio on the low end and kind of boosts it on the high end, and then there's some other kind of EQing going on here. Um, obviously, I adjust that to customize each track, but uh, this is where I like to start. And the other thing I'm going to do, oh, oh, by the way, um, I'll leave a link below for the Ozone uh, EQ8 presets that I made. There's 15 of them. They're pretty dope. So let's say I'm, I've got an electro house or maybe a drum and bass track. I could take this preset and drop it on our effects rack, and it will have a pre-EQ um, format for me to adjust and this is kind of giving me drum and bass type EQing and obviously you want to, I keep saying it over and over again, you need to adjust your EQ to each track specifically but I have uh, no problem, um, no reservation in using a uh, uh, good EQ, professionally um, preset EQ to start with. Um, brighter, bassier, that's something too. Um, but I'm just going to use my personal one here uh, for the rack and you can go download that and those other presets like I was saying. And the other thing we need to throw to kind of knock it all off or set it all up, knock it all down, is the TLS Maximizer. And if you're just joining us now and missed the first tutorial, uh, the two th third-party plugins we're using are both for um, uh, are both free. So uh, go to the blog and download those if you haven't already. And um, here we go. So we have this, and I'm going to open this up, and I want to map a couple of things from here. I'm going to map this um, limiter gain. So I saw I moved this around here, and I can see that that parameter is moving. So I'm going to right click and map to macro one. And also, if you hit this EQ button, it's got a three band equalizer where you can kind of uh, compress the, lo the low frequencies and adjust which frequencies you are compressing. Um, we're not going to use that though. Um, if you're going to do something like that, we're going to want to use um, Ableton's. I think Ableton's is a little bit better than this one, but uh, that's for a different tutorial. And we're going to map the body boost. So I'm going to take that and uh, come in here, right click, and map to macro two. And that's all the mapping we're going to do. Uh, we can close this now. Close that down. Close this down. And then come over here, and it's already titled for us, and we want to bring it up. And on this, 67 is no compression. So everything below 67 is no compression. Uh, everything above is a little bit of compression. And body boost, we, we just want a little bit. Um, so if I open it back up, I really only want about 30% of the body boost from the TLS Maximizer. 
So I'll leave it about there. So if we turn it off, um, let's turn up the mid width to about 80 and this to about 90. Boost the high end a little bit because the, the, the loop itself doesn't really have a lot of crispy highs and boost the low end about 1 dB. And we'll boost this to about 3.5. So let's see what that sounds like on and off. goes the dynamite there you go you got an audio effects rack I hope you learned a bunch um, and I hope that was useful so I guess we'll see you next time peace <laughs>